Welcome to another episode of People's Name, episode 378. Eric Lehman here, your host. I'm going to talk about the upcoming Red Sox baseball season. I'm a Red Sox fan, been a Sox fan since 1986. I had my picture taken with the three trophies, and it's an honor to be a Red Sox fan, and uh, I'm proud of it. Um, let's talk about the rotation of the Red Sox. It's going to be a more lefty-happy rotation. I think we have some Joe Kelly and Clay Buckholtz, a pair of righties. We have... Um, we have Henry Owens, Eduardo Rodriguez, and the newest uh, Sox member, David Price now. I think those five guys could round out the rotation. We'll see what happens. I know Henry Owens had a tough, tough outings, tough few outings last season. So, <clears throat> be very interested to see what happens. I don't know if anybody's trying to vie to be the next John Lester or Bruce Hurst, but <clears throat> be that as it may. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, our bullpen is going to get a lot strong. We acquired Carson Smith. He's supposed to be very good with the uh, Seattle Mariners. We still got Robbie Ross Jr., Tommy Lane. Um, we um, we have a closer, K uh, Craig Kimbrell from San, San Diego. That means <clears throat> with him as the new closer, you can see Uihara moved up to the setup role, eighth inning wise, and and uh, Junichi Tazawa in the seventh inning <clears throat> role, a little mop up there. So that that's pretty good. And the back end of the bullpen is going to be strong. With Kimbrel now as the new closer, uh, let's talk about the um, the infield is going to be very interesting because you have Sandoval playing in third, his ball got to short. Uh, you know, Sandoval came in with 20 pounds lighter. Hanley Ramirez has been hitting the gym pretty good, so uh, he may end up being first playing first base. Well, you know, he can. Play, I don't know if he can play the outfield, but he wanted to try at first base. And then you got uh, you know Pedroia, of course, coming off an an injury, uh, coming off an injury last season. He'll be. Uh, Playing a little bit of second base, um, I'm not gonna forget Brock Holt. I don't know if Brock Holt has gone, has been gone or what, but um, Brock Holt may have to find another number because this coming season they're gonna retire Wade Boggs's number and the and the number he wore was number 26, which Brock Holt's wearing right now. So it could be uh, very interesting to see how that plays out. So let's check out the outfield. The outfield's Jack, uh, Jackie Bradley Jr., uh, Mucky Betts, and Rusney Castillo. We, get, we acquired Chris Young. So, via uh, free agency, we got him from the Yankees. So, it'll be very interesting to see how that all that pans out. I think those are going to be your four outfielders right there. So, a lot of speed, a lot of power <clears throat> on bases. So, it'll be very interesting. The catching situation, Blake Swihart got the brunt of it because Kristen Vasquez was out for the entire season last year. So, Vasquez will come back probably hungry to get that catcher's role back. Be very interesting to see how this uh, all plans. Um, the designated hitter, Big Poppy David Ortiz. Once he retires after the season, who is going to be the new DH? Who are uh, the Red Sox going to try to acquire somebody in that in the next off season to acquire somebody to uh, replace Big Poppy's number and his power? He's been a huge factor ever since coming over from the Twins by you know, 2003. Um, three. I think the Twins released him and Sox picked him up and uh, scooped him and said, "Hey, come over." And the guys made a huge difference. For the Red Sox, I mean, huge. If it hadn't for him, I wouldn't be taking pictures with three World Series trophies and having three different World Series championship hats. So I'm really uh, happy that the curse is over and broken. But now, this will be his last season coming up. And uh, I realized that uh, my vacation weeks I've taken, um, they weren't. I thought they weren't going to be um, the vacation, the Easter vacation. I thought the season was going to start from. From that, like April 2nd or April 3rd, but April 4th will be the Red Sox um, opener against Cleveland, I believe, if I'm right, if I'm wrong. Um, and um, let's see, what else? So during my vacation weeks that I'm taking, Red Sox spring training is already starting, so I'll get to see some Red Sox spring training games, hopefully, on TV. It's going to be a nice and refreshing time for me as a... Kind of go Sox, and it doesn't matter what happens in the uh, NFL playoffs. So we get the conference titles, of course. Uh, number one seeds battle number two seeds, of course. Carolina going up against Arizona in the NFC side, of the NFC bracket. But on the AFC bracket, you got uh, the Denver going up against the defending Super Bowl champ New England Patriots. So in their home turf, I should say, in the Denver's home turf of my high stadium. So be very interested to see what happens. That I want to go back to the Reds. I'm looking forward to see what the Red Sox can do. I mean. The uh, the lineup's going to be very interesting. Uh, I wonder how the lineup's going to be faced. I know John Farrell will be coming back from a treatment with cancer. So, um, you know, Tori Lavelle did a good job stepping up. And uh, I, I, I believe, and uh, the broadcast team has changed for Nesson. Nesson decided to let go of Don Rosillo, much to the dismay of 
a lot of hardcore Don Arcillo and Jerry Remy fans, because Don Arcillo and Jerry Remy, to me, they're like the Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan, or JR and Jerry Lawler of baseball. You know, the only difference is uh, neither of them are a face or a heel. They just call the game and they just enjoy the, each other's company. So good luck in San Diego, Mr. Don Arcillo. I'll, I'll continue to follow you because you are a Red Sox legend in our hearts. And uh, I'm, like I said, it's, I'm trying to get off of everything else that's, that's going to happen this weekend. I'm not going to worry about it. When it comes, it comes. That's all I'm going to say about that. And I know the Lord Himself is going to protect us. That's for sure. Um, so I want. That's why I'm, I'm excited about the Red Sox upcoming season. It's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be interesting, interesting to see what's going to happen. You know, I am really looking forward to it, and uh, I'm looking forward to already spring and summer. So uh, hopefully, it'll be a great spring and summer. Right now, let's get by the winter. Let's get. Let, let's uh, let's go. You know, let's go for the gusto. Let's um, let's go. Uh, Try and conquer it. That's all we have to say on the matter, okay? And uh, we'll be seeing you later, and uh, God's blessings to you all. And But to all the haters out there, please eat a Snickers bar and change your quackish. And to all my friends, relatives, subscribers, and I should say fr family, family, relatives, friends, and subscribers, please keep things homie fresh. Peace out. 379 will be coming soon, and uh, we'll tell you all the details on what's going to happen on that episode when we get to it. All right? See ya. Bye.